The truth is, you're not supposed to be able to make it pro in this day and age. That was up until a few short years ago. Because honestly, up until five to 10 years ago, that was very unlikely. But today, going pro at a young age is the norm. These tactics have been field tested for years by thousands of professionals who went from working very regular jobs to studying in university, and some even in high school playing football on the side, allowing them to break free and make it pro. It's sad to see all the wasted potential in all of you in front of such a monumental opportunity. This video will allow you to go from wherever you are right now to wherever you want to be in life, whether you are playing football for the money or simply to conquer the sport. Essentially, fulfilling all of your greatest dreams is what you're going to learn in this video. We want to make understanding these concepts as easy as possible, which is why we are breaking down the five pillars that no one really talks about when it comes to achieving football success. The first pillar to achieving football success is obtaining a map. You see, going pro is very similar to finishing a video game. A video game is usually composed of two main elements, a set of quests that you have to complete and a map that tells you how to complete the quests. It may not be easy, but you just need to focus on what the quests tell you to do and go through the steps until eventually you finish all the quests inside the game. With football, this is very similar. You go through a set of drills and steps that when you complete them with enough repetition, you get results. The thing is, you're not really handed a map in real life that tells you what drills you need to do or what steps you need to take to get to the pro level, which usually means you have to figure it out all on your own. Imagine how hard a video game would be if it didn't tell you what to do and you didn't have a map. You would be lost and stuck doing things that didn't work and you probably wouldn't finish it. And that's exactly the reason that most people fail to make it pro. Now, what if you had a map? How much easier would it be to succeed in football if you knew exactly what you needed to do next and what the best way to do it was? You see the path and all the milestones you need to hit. And the only thing you need to do is put in the effort and execute. If you want, you can definitely create a map yourself by listing out specifically every workout, task, email you need to get done that should make you successful. If you don't think you can do something like this in the future, we will be hosting an event that will prepare you for success and give you access to everything you could possibly need. For now, we can't share too much, but it's something that will be insanely valuable for anyone who gets access to it. The second pillar you need to learn if you want to be a professional player is that in order to be a king, you must first be a pawn. You can be a king one day, but in order to be a king, you first need to be a pawn. You first need to be able to climb the ranks and learn from others that have more experience than you. And that is the issue with this generation. They look at people that are doing better than them and they want to jump straight to the finish line. The truth is you have to earn your rank. This is especially true for those of you that are at a young age. You have to face the challenges of getting rejected from teams or getting benched throughout the season because you need to go through these experiences to one day reach greater heights. For example, you don't just walk onto a new team and all of a sudden become the captain because you haven't shown others you're worthy to lead a team and that you deserve to be in that role. So just remember that to be a king, you must first learn to be a pawn, which should all be considered part of the process. Also, remember that there is nothing wrong with starting from a low position, being quiet, respecting the process, and understanding that you will eventually work your way up the football pyramid. The third pillar is networking. In order to truly climb the football ladder, you are going to need to do some networking at some point. Networking is when you find someone that has a shared interest and that you can learn from and you form a relationship with them that could hopefully lead to an opportunity down the line. There is a good chance that someone you network with has a connection with a scout or a manager that could potentially be interested in you. If by chance you get lucky, you could get an email from a coach that heard about you from someone else. A great way to start networking is to create a document that has the name, email, and or phone number of the person you are networking with. It it doesn't matter who this person is as long as they are somebody that could possibly help you go pro. The best ways to find people to network with is through social media and in person events like ID camps or tournaments. If you approach them with good intent and respectfulness, it's likely they will remember you if an opportunity ever arises. The fourth pillar you must learn is that you must be dedicated. You need to have an ego-driven obsession with achieving greatness and success in football. This means you must put everything into the grind and leave behind anything holding you back. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's why you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever wanna be successful. The truth about going pro is that it will cost 
cost you your comfort zone, your time, and your friends. But it doesn't matter because what's waiting on the other side of all the sacrifice is everything you could ever want or need. From now on, your life will revolve around football. This means you need to throw away your current self and transform yourself into your best self. Begin by listing out 10 qualities of your current self and 10 qualities of your ideal self. Now that you have actually listed these out, you have a much better idea of how you want your life to look. Now you can start by listing out what it's going to take to reach each quality. For example, if you list out that you want to be healthy, you can create a day-by-day -day schedule of what you are going to eat as well as what you aren't going to eat. Don't hesitate to write out what you truly want because why settle for less than the best? It's the story, man. We're all writing a book. What does your fucking book look like? Like your life is a book. You got a bunch of chapters in your book, but when they close that book, how good was the book? It's time to get back to work. Stop hearing yourself talk, get off the podcast, cut out all the fucking noise, get back to the fucking mental lab. The fifth pillar you must have is an obsession with training. What will truly get you to the top 1% at a performance level is dependent on how much you put into your training. You need to be training one way or another every single day with planned out training sessions. It's too often we see the mistake of someone going to a field with no plan or set of objectives they want to accomplish, and they end up shooting the entire training, gaining pretty much no benefits when they could have sketched out in advance what they wanted to get from the training session and what exactly they should focus on. That brings us to the concept of focusing on your weaknesses and not your strengths. If you have huge weaknesses, like a weak foot or bad shooting accuracy, then it's much better to focus on those and then keep practicing your strengths. What scouts look for is a player who's all-rounded and who can perform all the necessary skills to help contribute to their team. You need something that separates you from the rest, like a really good long ball. But someone who can do multiple things well will most often get chosen over someone who's really good at one thing but bad at the others. The truth is, you're running out of time. And we aren't just saying that. The window to going pro gets smaller and smaller every single day. No matter how long it takes, keep going. No no matter how much it hurts, keep going. So you was placed on this earth for a reason. You weren't meant to be average. You were meant to excel. You gotta understand that this grind is meant to make you who you're supposed to be. The truth is, it's completely up to you. How do you want your life to go? Do you want to look back at what could have been and all the chances you missed because you didn't seize the opportunity at hand? What will give you the chance to write your name in history are moments like these when you acknowledge your current self and make an oath to put everything you have into achieving your dream. Don't mess it up. To take immediate action and remind yourself that you're going to become a professional footballer, comment down below why you'll succeed and promise yourself that you will put everything you can into the grind. If you want more of these types of videos, subscribe to our channel as we put out videos like this all the time. Stay locked in. You love